here's your delicious salmon. Yes. Take your pants off. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm uh, George Pettit. I'm Wade McNeil. We're playing Alexis on Fire. And we're interviewing each other. That's right. Today, so here it goes. Usually we don't talk to one another. But Different now... limousines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wade, what was your hometown music scene like when you were growing up? Uh, it was a pretty small scene, but you know, a small scene is a good thing. Uh, I met uh, you because it was a small enough place where yeah, I think like everyone that skated or everyone that listened to punk kind of found each other. Yeah, lots of places to play. Lots of places to play. That was a thing too. Lots of uh, kids with uh, in enough ingenuity to put on concerts. Yeah, yeah a lot of... A lot of shows at the Crack Hotel that would yeah. let me book concerts when I was 15. Yeah, a Chinese food restaurant. Yeah. Chinese food restaurant Jamaican that paid bar. beer. Jamaican bar would play yeah. that, yeah. All that sort of thing. Art spaces, wherever you want it. All right. Art slam dunk. Hit me. What are you listening to right now? What am I listening to right now? Well, I've been definitely listening to a lot of uh, uh, ambient music. Uh, La Raji a lot. We can bring that up again. Uh, you know, uh, Unicorns in Paradise. I like that a lot. I'm listening to Cindy Lee a lot. I'm listening to The New Turnstile. Nela Sinefro. Uh... Bunch of stuff you probably haven't heard of. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. What are you listening to, Wade? It's mostly La Yeah. You put me onto that Unicorns of Paradise record. Oh yeah. It just sounds like floating, just in a yeah, just like a floating in a salt bath. bath. Yeah. yeah. Who in the band would be best or worst suited to survive a post-apocalyptic situation? We would all be we would all be tied to the lead marauders motorcycle like to the front of it we would none of us would last 10 seconds i might be able to fi i can fish a bit so like i'd be able to like feed myself various fish that yeah. i catch but other than that but they'd still keep you tied down to the truck yeah they might they might keep me for that but they'd still keep me tied to the truck and then and you know yeah i'd have to bring back a a pail of gasoline to the lead marauder here's your delicious salmon yes. take your pants off <laughs> i got one is there a genre of music that you just don't get wait i just don't get new country yeah i think uh I think any sort of musical genre that uh, once it stops becoming what it is and just becomes pop music with a different name. Yeah. You know, yeah, I think New Country is a really good way of describing that. Just, uh... Yeah, a bunch of stuff that it just makes me feel nothing. Most music makes me feel nothing, I'll say that much. It, it, you know, you gotta look for really weird stuff for me to feel anything. You know, like I've been poisoned by just constantly taking in music, so yeah. What's the worst job you ever had? Worst job I ever had, I worked in a cherry factory uh, and there was a conveyor belt and cherries went by, like I was in the processing plant at a cherry thing. And so I'd sit there for 10 hour days and I'd look at this conveyor belt and I'd pull out rotten cherries off the conveyor belt and pits and I'd, until I filled this 10 gallon bucket between my legs. And uh, and I uh, I definitely like would stand up after like a six hours of staring at this conveyor belt, and my my vision would just slant to the left, like everything slid to the side. It was very weird. That was a terrible job. I was probably like 16 or something like that. That was a bad job. I had this job when I was working for this electronics store, and I go on the installs. Oh yeah. I go to people's houses and like set up satellite dishes, which kind of dates the story a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy I worked with uh, was super religious and I'd open my lunch bag up and he'd have put pamphlets like about like, you know, have you thought about our Lord and Savior recently? And all this stuff and they just like, after lunch each day just kind of jump into some just and, come to the church. And that's how Wade and that's how Wade become a became a youth minister. That's right. And now he's a youth minister. So yeah, it works out that way. What's okay. the best or worst way someone has described your music? Best or I'll worst. answer that for you. The first time we ever played in Scotland, uh, on the flyer it said Extremo. Yeah. Which that's is good. Uh, wildly embarrassing, but also just like stupid enough that I kinda like. It's best and worst, yeah, yeah definitely. Best. So it's both. It's the best and the worst. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite place you've been on tour? South America, definitely. Hands down. Hands down, South America. Just 
It's just wild. People, I came country. home and I felt ashamed to be Canadian. That's how great it was there. Everything was so zesty and fun and beautiful and cultural. And you know, Canada is just so bland and fucking whatever. So yeah. What is your career highlight so far? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say interviewing you yep. in this interview right now is probably the greatest moment of my life, hands down. And I have a lot of accomplishments. I have a lot of very huge accomplishments in my life. But this right now, just being able to stand here with you and finally get over the weird tension we've had, the separate limousines, you know, for so many years. It's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful time to be alive. You know, there's that, that, that piece of tape you put on the stage oh, yeah. that I'm not allowed to come over to. That's right. It's your space. That's my space. I say we take that off. You know what? You know? This is like the Berlin Wall coming down right now. Yeah. East Berlin, West Berlin, together again. Otherness by Alexa Fire out June 24th. That's it. That's it. Very nice.